hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is petit given mk if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also to click the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time i post a new video my hair is looking beautiful right now my edges are snatched everything is on fleek and if you want to know how i did that make sure you stick around and watch the videos to the end guys because everything i'm going to be showing you is necessary you don't want to miss anything and this is a very simple trick if you want to learn my simple trick you have to make sure you watch to the end i have very beautiful hair in front of me here i have this baby right here so this is um an ear to ear closure like this and then uh it is so long see this it is very long i can't wait to put this on my head as you can see the only thing i've done on my face is my eyes and my eyebrows so i don't have anything on my face my skin is dry and guys I, I don't know i have been having these breakouts lately i don't know if it's the weather if it's i don't know what's going on but i don't know i need to i, I need to get rid of this but anyway so i don't have anything on my skin this is important because you're going to be using glue so if you put any you know all those products that we use on our face when doing our makeup it's going to interfere with the the way the glue is going to hold so step number one we're going to start with uh, putting some foundation on the lace so that it can mimic your skin color so i already have my foundation right here this is what i'm going to be using Step number two is going to be wearing this now, putting it on your head. So you do this because you want to see where your hairline is and you want to measure where you're going to put the glue. So make sure it is fitting the way you want it to fit. We are now going to put glue where you want the list to be so i'm going to be using this um go to be glued spray this is what i'm going to be using this is the only glue i use so far i haven't tried anything else and i don't um talk about what i have not used so this is what i have been using and it has been working so you can use two methods either you spray it on your finger and put where you want the glue to be or you can spray it spread it directly on your skin like this but the problem with spreading it directly is that it's it goes everywhere it, it, it spreads too far so with the finger you can control where you want the glue to be so this is what i do normally So what I do is I put on one side and then I put the other side. If I put on both sides at the same time, I sometimes tend to bend it. That's just me. But if you think you can do it at a go like this, then do it. We we'll wait for it to dry as well. Not dry to be tacky. We we'll just wait for it to become tacky. Then this is the second, the third layer of the glue. So then it's tacky so now I can move my lace and make sure it's in front of your hairline like so so then I use a comb just make sure the hair is not stuck to the glue as well so I'll hold it like this for a few minutes just to make sure it's stuck on this side then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well so what you do to stick the other side is you cut on the middle you cut the lace on the middle like this So this way you are able to lift it like this. So 
So step number three is to make sure that the wig is nicely secured and flat. So we're going to do that by tying um, the, the wig down. So guys, as we're waiting for the glue to dry down, we're going to style this hair as desired. I think it's dry now. So now, step four, I think, is to cut off the lace. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the lace and make sure it's not a straight line. It's supposed to be a crooked line, you know, because you don't want it to look like a straight line. You just want to make it blend well with the skin and making it crooked helps it blend well. That's a tip I'm giving you right there. So... hope you guys can see I'm sorry I have to look this side because that's where the mirror is so once you reach here you're going to want to cut off the ear so that the ear is going to be showing not cut off the ear sorry <laughs> you're going to cut off where the ear is going to be coming out from because as you can see the hair has covered my ear so we need to cut off the shape of the ear so So you can see it has come out a bit, meaning I'm going to have to put some glue right here. But it's all good. So once you're done cutting, you're going to notice that you're going to have some glue left in here. So what I do is I use one of my baby wipes. I have uh, some baby wipes and I just use it to clean off the excess um, glue. So, so I'm done cleaning off the excess glue. So as you can see, you can you can still see the demarcation where the lace is and my skin. So I'm going to try to hide that even furthermore by uh, making some baby hairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to be using my eco styling gel. Now on this particular part, I do actually prefer to use um, olive oil mousse. So if you have most, you can actually use that instead of this one, but I don't have the most, so I'm going to be using this to demonstrate. So to make the baby hairs, I'm going to just cut off my baby hairs. I'll just get a little bit of hair in front, like that. I need very little hair, you see? Very, very little hair. and you get a scissors where is my scissors so you're going to cut off the baby hairs with the scissors like that Yes, girl. <laughs> okay, so we do that. So the edges are laid, and, and and then I'm going to use the same cloth that I used to lay my glue. I'm going to use it to lay my edges. So I'm just going to tie this down for like ten minutes to just make sure the baby hairs are secure. So I went ahead and finished off my makeup off camera and it has been more than 10 minutes already so I'm just going to untie my hairdryer.